So, lads, listen. The boys have been reacting to the boys' videos as of recently. I think if we don't watch this at this point, we're doing ourselves a disservice. This is called Why I Hate Noah J456. I'm gonna react to Noah J reacting to me. Bro, my man's got a whole disco going on in his room. What's, what's good here? Bro, imagine getting less views on your video than someone reacting to it. 116K views on Pat's Zombies of 2020. Lex react to it. 217. <laughs> this is a Lex content reaction. What the? Dude. What do you have to say about that, Noah J? Uh, I was going to say, Noah also reacted to Liam's Boogie Boys video not long ago, and it, it, it increased Liam's views by approximately 50%. So. Oh, bro, I swear. Bro, he's baiting. Do you hear him? Do you hear him, chat? All I hear is he's baiting me. He, Noah is Molding right now. We <laughs> only re react to Lex. Chat, if Noah's molding, type one. Get this video to five more Lexes than Lex got on his video. What are your thoughts on being. <laughs> I'm reacting to you reacting to, you reacting to me. Dude. And I'm reacting to you. Bro, I swear to God, I'm about to come over to No J456's home and give him a nice kiss on the cheek. Yo. Yo, kiss? He said it, not me, chat. Hey, he said it, not me. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. In the game as a whole, I think it uh -huh. would be a rehash. Yo, why I hate Noah J456? Bro, no he looks got like... mad that I said it was no. Black Ops 2? Noah J. Noah J. You're fucking... <laughs> lads, 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 lads. Everyone, everyone shut up. Y Noah acts like this man just insulted his entire family tree. <laughs> And I don't even know what he said. 25 years old into you your life, made. and you're already <laughs> making so many men, dude. terrible <laughs> actions. Did you see the underscore Don and right there pop up? You know we want BO3 with BO2 mechanics. No, we don't, actually. <laughs> we don't. Yes! 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 BO3 was not gameplay focused. BO2 was, bruh. I'm a, what? Huh? BO3 was not gameplay focused, BO2 was. Hold on, what did this man just say? Yes! 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 BO3 was not gameplay focused, BO2 was, bruh. That's it. Chat. I can no I can no longer participate in this video. I can I can no longer Honestly, I'm going to have to unfollow Lux on Twitter. I'm going to have to make a Reddit post about him. I'm, get, I'm getting on Audacity right now. I'm going to be making a video uh, explaining why he's an idiot. Let's continue. BO3 is actually one of the most gameplay-focused games, I would say. Casuals play BO2 or BO3? BO2. What? It's true. BO3, okay, uh, here's what I'll say. BO3 wasn't, uh, let's say public match friendly bo3 had the same sort of uh it had the same problem as bo4 where because we're starting to teeter on that journey based emphasis on gameplay that public matches were dead so let's say casual gamers that like to play those that's fair enough for zombie zombie absolute virgins like us that this is the only thing we play it, it's it's significantly more gameplay based than i would say bo2 that's one mechanics, thing. If, if yeah. in Warzone, are they gonna literally like at if they they're keeping Warzone like all the leaked information says they are? Are they literally just gonna take the guns from the next Black Ops Five or whatever game it is? I think it's Cold War. So I don't I don't know, dude. Or no. 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 Yes. Yes. My toes. In. I need to have a full heart to heart with him. Hold on before I even continue with this. I have oh, he's spent about to pop the off. past week and a half Go off, not King. streaming, and I literally kid you not by this chat. <laughs> chat I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to say because I've played some Warzone with him. Dude, this man, chat, I, I, I have to give him credit where credit's due. This guy hustled to get a Warzone win, and he was determined. I got a DM uh, at, at like, uh, I don't know, 3 in the morning, something around that. And it was Lex just full caps letting the lads know that he got a Warzone win. And I was like, big ups, my man. This guy, Not streaming this guy because I've spent my whole needed time it. trying to make one Warzone video. <laughs> I literally, I have died to hackers. I have died to aim botters. Yep. I have died to men with shield, yep. sticks, 
that's like that's like normal call of duty but yeah go off king <laughs> there are literally points in the gameplay where i play in the past week and a half where i literally break my shit half of these keys <laughs> dude when i'm playing warzone with lex this is all you hear here is mouse slamming on the table look at that look at that key right there look at that key right there that shit is oh the windows gosh. key and that shit is gone, He broke bro. his Windows key, dude. I love it. I love it. He's not about it, dude. Honestly, I don't hate that idea. I don't hate the idea of having to play, let's say, at least a bit of single player first before you I, Listen, it's it's an old strategy, but it worked before. Spoiler alert. I don't agree with Lex on that. No. Uh, I, I honestly think that the next call of duty's campaign is going to be kind of like what modern warfare was to the rest of the infinity ward like chill dude <laughs> modern warfare like sit down bro the campaign was basically a prequel it tied in sit down bro it bro he's too much were, like, in my face i gotta back up man i think that's kind of like new characters i want new maps i want all that stuff but i still want ether to be the like setting okay that's actually a really important point right there so chat I agree wholeheartedly with Noah right here, and I'll tell you why. Let's t t take this for example. If we had another Marvel film, and they wanted to make essentially Infinity War 2, they wanted to build up to that. Let's say it's not at all related to the, I don't even know what you call the, I'm not a Marvel nerd. I don't know what the universe is called, but you know what I mean. That, that particular universe, if you had made another set of superheroes that were not in that universe at all, there was absolutely no ties, there's almost zero reason to care. At least for most people. And if that's what you're going for, Call of Duty, we, we, we know, is, uh, is significantly based off nostalgia. And if you cut out that part of, like, the player base, then you d you're doing yourself a huge disservice. Again, yeah, Ether it can, it can almost go an infinite number of ways uh, as far as maps, settings, characters, all that. Um, but you can have it retained in that same universe. So, yeah, I, I, I agree with, actually, I actually agree with Noah there. Yeah, not, not the MCU. No, no, I know it's called the MCU, but, like, there's, I don't know, there's, like, a name for its actual extraordinary i don't know but you know what i mean anyways the black ops campaigns to still be the set. i i, I agree Jay, with noah here he's just spit he's just spitting facts i think the fans will love that Dude, look at him listening listening to the big brain knowledge nah, i don't think it's gonna happen watch out on your microphone jesus christ and it's because i'm reacting to a, a reaction of noah j's video and i'm reacting i'm reacting to a reaction of yours to a reaction of noah's to to your original video that's crazy hold on a fucking second noah's watching my video in 480p <laughs> Is you for real, no J four five six? He's no not even watching my shit in HD. Professional YouTuber. Look, look at the bottom right, four eighty P. Professional YouTuber. Like small. Sledgehammer Games was working on it a lot. That's the I also though. do believe that Treyarch has taken a massive part into making this game, so it's going to be like a mix or an amalgamation. That's of true. Sledgehammer games. actually is helping. So that is going to be interesting. Wait, what did he say? Oh, what did he say? Amalgamation of both those studios when it comes out. So that is. Going to be I don't know why he's laughing. That's a, amalgamation is actually a word, I think. That, so that sounds right. My man got the dictionary out. Oh, okay, bro. <laughs> because I read two books, that means I'm better than you. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bro. How is Noah just watching this in 480p? I think, I think storylines should be there. I don't think you'd like need to do the Easter egg every map. Noah, like why that. are you watching my video? Is this dog? Look, look. Here's the thing. Here's the two arguments. You have Noah and Lex on both sides. You have the people that are like, hey. Zombies needs a story. And you have the have those people that are saying, well, no, it should be gameplay focused. Chat, chat. We can we can go, we can argue all day. They're both right. They're both right. The question is how much of each do you have? That's what it comes down to. They're both right. I think he's playing a mod. I I You're seven minutes into the video. You just realized I I play I'm playing a mod. How long will it take for you to realize that you're not watching it in H fucking D, bro? That's <laughs> actually a good point. Where the replayability is going to be incredibly high, and I think a lot of people are going to like that, especially me, because hey, man, it sucks not having content for zombies that's not custom zombies or something crazy like Leviathan. You know what I mean? It's honestly a little bit. Okay, that's a good, that's another good point. That's another good point. Replayability is very poorly defined in zombies. Uh. And I think BO4's re replayability didn't... Here's why. Here's, here's why BO4's replayability sucked. The emphasis of the map is to do the Easter egg. 
That is the fundamental purpose of BO4 maps. Once you do that, there's a meta strategy. Once you run that meta strategy over and over again, that's the only way, the only experience you can have on that map. Thus, they get they get boring. You're not incentivized to run anything else or play an, an Easter egg a different way, hardly at all. BO3 had this to some degree as well, but yeah. No, that's, that's a great point. That's why Custom Zombies was a godsend for Black Ops 3. But again, I have a video also on why Transit will be remastered. There's a lot of little... I bet you didn't check out that video, huh, no, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> Chat, don't remaster. L listen, listen, leave it, leave it where it is. Don't even, don't touch it. Don't, do not, do not defile its grave, okay? Some things are meant to just stay where they are. So over remasters, bro. Yeah, I'm so over it. Remake, I'm gonna lose it. It's not. It's not <laughs> gonna, gonna be a remake. It, dude. It's gonna be something new. For it, sure. Dude, it's, hopefully, it's, man. It's hopefully. It's gonna be fucking nervous. <laughs> if it's BO3 like systems with BO2 style maps, if that's what he's saying he wants, I'm okay with that. I I agree with him on that. I think BO2 style maps with BO3 systems. Well, fucking like, thank no you, no way. Well, it's like, what does that mean though? Okay, hold on, chat. Let's actually talk about that for a second. What what is a what is a BO2 map? Is it a is it a Blundell map or is it a, a Zelensky map? Because those are totally different things. Is it a formulaic map or is it a chaotic kind of random map like Zelensky's? You, you can't. It, I don't. You can't just th be like BO2 maps and throw it at a BO3 system. and Be like this will work. You got You got to. You got to really define these things because there is a huge difference between a map structure of something like Origins or Mob than there ever is to Die Rise or Transit. Those, I'm not saying one is better than the other. You have to define, what, if you want a formula, like you have to define if you want a formulaic map or if you want a random, more chaotic map. The random chaotic maps generally end up having more replayability, but formulaic maps can have a really well-crafted narrative experience. And we all know that. That's kind of what BO3 was. I think Gobble Gums were check on your boy dude wait <laughs> chat check on your boy hey that's gonna be someone's twitter profile picture right now let's play i don't see any downsides as, at least as far as zombies is concerned M mp i get it like warzone crossplay with console is really kind of uh, it's questionable not only because of the cheaters just because like mouse and keyboard uh, in most cases in terms of typical gamers are probably gonna have a, a, an advantage but Again, this is a cooperative, in theory, a cooperative game mode. So it doesn't, I, I don't think it would, I, I think crossplay would be a great idea for this. To be seeing in here are the Victus maps in Transit, Die Rise, and Buried. With them either being completely redone. Wait, hold on, what do you say? Noah, Noah, <laughs> dude, Noah almost, my guy had a stroke right there. <laughs> I didn't hear what he said. Hold on, what, what, I need to know, what did he say? What made Noah have a stroke right there? MP, bro. You're meeting the best of both worlds. We're going to be seeing in here are the Victus maps in Transit, Die Rise, and Buried. With them either being completely re- Oh, the Victus maps being the remasters? That makes Noah- Chat, look, that makes Noah J456 cringe at the thought. Transit remastered? Cringe. Die Rise? Cringe. Again, do not defile the graves of these maps. They do not need to be defiled. I agree with this a lot, actually. The the whole cycle that we've had so far, where oh, our char we have the same shot, characters please. every map, and they're like going from map to map, do it. Like I think it was it was played out by the end of BO3, where you're going map to map, you know exactly what you're doing. Yes. Uh, Revelations was the only kind of like surprise. We knew we were going to the house. Every yeah. You're getting assault. You already know what the end of. No, no, and not even that. Like that's true, but but even just in terms of a more general gameplay build, it's like BO3. You load up the map. You find pieces, you do a thing, you do a boss fight, you get a perkaholic, and that's the game. And you get a soul, obviously, for the story. But again, just for, even just generally in terms of gameplay, that's how it is. It's you, you do a thing and you do a boss fight. There's, and there's not much mix-up. That's true. But that formula worked, at least. But yeah, after a while, it did get a little played out. Is He's right. The He's right. Zed? American, dude. 480p, bro. <laughs> Chat, let me just make sure I'm not in 480p. Hold on a second. Are we in HD here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we in that 1080. Let's go. About turning up power. Oh, J456, I'm reacting to you so fucking hard Man, right I, now. I like I'm reacting that, to you even harder, Lex. Dead Ops. Dead Ops is so niche. I know Lex loves it. What the fuck? It's so niche. It's good, but it's really niche. I, I'll play it once and be like, okay, I'm, I'm fine with this. I don't need to play it anymore. But Lex is absolutely in love with it. 
And the next one. And the next one. And, and, and Lex plays copyrighted I music. I thought copyright. Yeah, what the? Okay, I, I, I love copyrighted see. music. I definitely agree <laughs> with some parts. <laughs> super disagree with other parts. Uh, Dead of Star Arcade 2 is uh boring so is that a <laughs> boo pussy boo <laughs> pussy whatever get out of here kid dude was lex speaking facts was noah j speaking facts i gotta say i i i think i think my my i don't know i disagree with noah about a lot of things in zombies but as far as that stuff was concerned i th i think he hit the nail pretty much on the head